We are out here at the Dallas Guitar Show. This is kind of part two of our Dallas trip. If you haven't seen the last video, go check that out. Got in yesterday and did some really cool deals at the show and then did some cool deals with a friend, Bruce. And then now this is the first like proper dealer day that's not just a load-in day. And then we've already been making deals. So I think this is gonna be a really good show. Start here. We've got a little three for one deal. We've got this Ibanez RG550. It's been modded, so just a single pickup. Very, very cool shreddy guitar. And even more shreddy than that, we've got this Ibanez SV470 1993. This is probably my favorite of these three. Really cool. Look at that. And this one's all original. Yeah, it's got this Ibanez USA case, which is not what this would normally come with, but fits it perfectly. We got the Fender Esquire GT Telecaster. You can call it Tele, you can call it an Esquire, whatever you uh, prefer. But single pickup, just one volume knob, everything you need, nothing you don't. Very rare finish too. Three hours later. For those keeping score at home, it's 1.14 right now on the first real day and uh, here's where we're at. All new acquisitions. Three for one deal again. Second time of the day. PRS SE245 in silver. They don't make this color anymore. It's quite hard to find. Pretty cool. Well, we got something that I haven't seen in a, a minute. This is an Ibanez RT650, made in Japan, of course. Very cool guitar, very cool flame. HSH pickups, so lots of sounds. Really, really neat. We're getting a lot of really cool Ibanez guitars, especially J Japanese made ones. And, uh, this is no exception. The three of three for this deal. Very beat up case, but old PVT-15. Sunburst, all original, except the case. Made in America a very long time ago. Not part of the three for three. This was its own deal. The third 1983 Federer Stratocaster of the show. I had no intention of buying one of these. Better yet two or even three. There was no plan here. They just keep coming our way. We stumble into them, tell them that the dumb guys on the back aisle oh, want that be real bad. I just learned I'm gonna be a grandfather. Wow, wow. congratulations. congratulations. We have the 2008 Spinner 72 reissue Thin Line Telecaster Deluxe. It's wide range humbuckers, very fun. And got the stereo course at the same time. Proper dealer day one is complete. I would say it was a great day. We acquired a lot of really cool guitars, as you probably just saw. Traded some things out, so that's always good. Very fun and, to be honest, mentally tiring day. I have been running around literally from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. now. So, hectic day, but productive day. Tomorrow is going to be a lot. Big day. It's public day one of the Dallas Guitar Show. I'm absolutely exhausted. We're gonna have a guitar show. It's buzzing on the 12th fret, and that's always the hardest to do anything about. Because it doesn't have too much relief, so we gotta figure out what's going on. Hey, my name's Alex. I'm gonna be Alex. I have some. What do you got? Yeah, I'll come by after a while. Oh, yeah. No, it's all yours. Switch it out and then uh, I'll do an email. Yeah. Cool. The people of Dallas are here. They're ready for a guitar show. Wraps out all the way around there. Friday, they took off work. They've been waiting for it. Careful, they might swarm you. YouTube fame. I don't think they will. I don't think they know who I am. Maybe they do. They might swarm you. Goes as far as the eye can see. That's what. All right. Very nice. 
very cool fresh find. We have a Fender FMT Special Edition Telecaster in this really cool green flame finish. I've actually found one other one of these in this finish before, and I can't believe I found a second, but that's how it is sometimes. My friend Sergio, who plays in some great bands such as Rokota and Idola, is kind of known for playing these guitars, and he told me if we ever find another green one like this to let him know, so this one may already be spoken for. We'll see what happens. All right. Uh, if anyone needs anything, have you people talk to you? Stop by Bruce's first. Damien thinks he's funny. What's Damien do? I said, hey, are you at the shop? Yes. I said, there's delivery coming. Just want to make sure. Like it's a whole semi truck. And he said, wow, you finally bought a flash flood truck. Finally. <laughs> he's got jokes. It's too early for jokes. Got some drums here for Colin and Damien. It's some loose drums. If you know, you know. Yeah, I broke the guitar. They got this one just for me. So many people have brought single cut juniors for me, and everyone keeps forgetting to give them to me. It's the thought that counts, though. Jimmy Wallace shows up as Owen, especially at his own show. It's just like a 1954 strat, it's nothing like crazy. How you doing? That's a cool strat. This is every single boss pedal in the box. Let's take a look. Slow gear in the box. I think this is the first one I've ever seen. I just want to say that I, I do take it personally that the one pedal that Boss made in this color is something that I would never use. What is it? Oh, the tremolo pan. The tremolo is great, but I don't need the pan. I don't ever play in stereo. No. I may end up being interested in this. I don't know yet. See, it has replaced tuners, which is not a big deal. I just want to know if that's the only thing that's been like swapped on. But that's definitely potential. Because uh, the owner of that guitar wants some stuff from us and it might be easier to just swap it out. This bit may be boring because this is actually authentic. My one is. I need to look up. It's an older Pro Reverb amp. I'm trying to get the exact date. Probably 70s.
wish I could at a great price. It's just because it's for the shop. I'm going to do it. Okay. Cheap. Probably do if you want to do it right now. I'll do six fifty, but that's only right now. Later we make the six. Oh, okay. I feel it. <laughs> yeah. So, you're betting on either A, so you're paying a premium, or B, the market shifting up. So, yeah. and I'm not, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to drive things up like crazy. I don't think that's good for up. Like six years, but it's really been serious for. We shouldn't say six. Years. throw some shade and if this applies to you I'm not trying to be mean we were at Dallas last year we were at Arlington last year so a lot of the same vendors a lot of the same vendors have all the same guitars as last time it's, it's just interesting they brought the same stuff and they have it priced exactly the same it's still here do I want this yeah. Would I sell it on the shop? No. Wouldn't. I would keep it. Would they take my offer? Absolutely not. Do I buy this one too? Which one? This. Very nice. Eighty grand. This is cool too. Very early hard though. Yeah. Very nice. Working for you. I'll take both of them. With both those, that's all the strat that you would need. You would be good to go. from playing horrendously to playing very, very good. So, shout out to Kay. It's been a fun day so far. People are here, they're ready for a guitar show. This is a bit different though. This is a guitar festival, technically. The show is only one component of the greater picture of what's going on. Well, there's a lot of people. It's a different crowd than normal. It's good and bad. I think be better for promotion and then slightly less agile for like actual deals and stuff. It's just a different show. This guy's got something to sell, so let's see what it is. Very cool fresh find. We have a 1978 Fender Pro Reverb. These amps are great because they're kind of in between a deluxe and a twin, so they have way more headroom than a deluxe reverb has, but they are not as heavy as a twin, and you can still get some breakup from them if you push them. The FAL cello booster has gone to the correct person, let's just be honest. It's in the box. Josh Scott of JHS Pedals. Great pedal company. And I can now say in person, nice guy. Players, 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 friends. Let me 
runs and efforts. That is that is an exceptional piece, and that's an exceptional price too. That's one that I could actually like touch. I'll look it up. I, yeah, I feel like that's not bad. I haven't sold this specific kind of SG special in a long time. I like the like the reason I got them was because it's flat. Six Fender Tremolux, fresh fine. It's clean and it's been recapped. Got the green emerald. You Fender enthusiasts know about the green emerald. Fresh fine. There was almost four fresh fines, but there's just one. 2007 Fender Highway One Jazz Bass. Already starting to wear very nicely. Very cool base. Really thin nitro finishes. I think I already said this when talking about the other one. Doc Badass 2 Bridge. Very, very cool base. And then we have over there, we have one of the original ones where they just have the stock, like standard Fender Bridge and then the American Standard style logo. Two nice highway ones. What was that one? Oh, hey there. So here we have a uh, Fender Cabronita Telecaster, supposedly seafoam green from the uh, words of Fender themselves. Just got it in, got the uh, Fiddletron pickups here. That's what make it the Cabronita from what I found out. The seller said it's got a, the neck kind of feels slightly thicker. I don't know anything about that personally, but beautiful guitar with some extra paint going on here. It's ready to find a new home with it. Today I talked a lot and I'm now mentally very tired. I'm also physically tired, but bought a lot of cool stuff for you guys. So lots of fun stuff entering the shop. Didn't move a lot of stuff. I feel like it was more dealers. Even the people that were coming that were public were like smaller dealers and stuff more so than like players. So I'm very interested to see how the rest of the weekend goes. It's weird being on the other side. This thing just following you around. I know. I'm It's an easy pitch. I get, I totally get what they're selling. I just actually find it to be unaffected. It's public day two, but it's Saturday, so this should be the big day. I'm trying to get some new stuff up so people can see it. They'll be here very soon. Excited to see everyone. We're out here. Make it happen. Bought a PRS from us last year. Nice people. Check out this titanium bridge, glass, back, whatever you call it, it's stained. Really nice. Look at that board. Awesome. Great to see it. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It just it doesn't fight me enough. Yeah. Well, most I've been as well. No, but it's cool. It's got a. Um, it's got an S1 switch. I wanted to swing this by, talk to a couple other people. They're like, you want to do trades or something? I'm just like, like I want to bring it here first. Yeah. Let's take a look at it, reach whatever. What, what are you mainly looking for? Are you looking to sell or trade? It just depends. I know you guys are always looking for gear. Yeah. So I thought I'd contribute to the madness. So Kaylee and I went to go get coffee. So I take a turn, go down a block, park opens up, and Kaylee and I are met with uh, police blockades on street on his some of the streets. Funny, turned back around, and got coffee, and came back. I liked his old videos when he was doing. Like, we didn't discuss all the touring videos. Yeah, I love that. Can I get 
guitar is that? How's it going? Looking for anything particular for that? I'm moving to Australia and I'm not taking it with me. I'd rather go to somebody who's going to right. make some money on it and play it more than I would out there. Double check there. Yeah. Yeah. That it's a it's a silver burst it's a silver burst plus ball custom right. Everyone that was asking about the V, it's gone. That's right, I remember seeing that. You know, this is our first one. Oh. Okay. Uh, mine lots? We mine a little bit. Thank you very much. Awesome. You. Please get your receipt for that. No doubt. It's been very busy. It's been a lot of fun today. Gotten a few cool new things. Traded out, I think, at least a couple things. So, it's been going well. I just stopped by the booth, recognized him from last year. He shreds. He came up to the booth and was just testing out a guitar for a while. Very nice, great guitar player. Came back and visited us a whole year later. Very cool. Uh, Lamar Williams, pre-rock pedals. John Danner is Big Hair Nation. And uh, Paul is Hone Chasers Music. Sorry, I know, that's a lot to remember. <laughs> Thanks. These are three of my favorite people to deal with at all the guitar shows, so you should deal with them too. They're all great people. And they have good stuff. Yeah, look, at, look at this. Flat top telly? Where are you gonna find this? Flat head, sorry. I like this. You got a great selection of guitars and all the pedals. You all been enjoying the show? Didn't buy a damn thing. I missed y'all and I walked by you several times yesterday. I missed it. I would not have walked by and missed it on purpose. It's the end of the day on Saturday. We had a very fruitful day today. Let's see what we bought all today. We got the Schecter Nick Johnson. Headphone SG Custom with the Factory Bigsby. PRS SC Torero. Headphone ES339. Super cool silver Charvel with the humbuckers. Got a Fender Limited Edition Hot Rod Strat. I think it's something like 33 to 250. Taylor T5C, so custom or the cherry. I don't know which that means. Cool Retro Electromatic Corvette. Oh, yeah. Up here we've got the Epiphone Les Paul Custom Prophecy Plus. We've got the Gibson Firebird Zero. We've got Fender Special Edition FMT Telecaster Flame Maple Top. We've got the Fender Road Worn Jazz Bass and Fiesta Red, which is a very hard to find finish. These two I really, really like. This is a Highway 1 Jazz Bass and Sunburst from, I think, 2007. And this one's like a 2003. This is another Highway 1 Jazz Bass. This is my favorite of the bases. Super dark rosewood board. Great looking, super thin nitro finish. And then we'll finish it off here. We got the GNL S500 in a really nice case. Overall, it was a great day. We found some stuff. And we're going to bring it to you on the internet.
running fresh fine. It's limited edition 1998, Gibson V. The day hasn't even started. I was just doing a little walk around. I saw this actually the other day, and Teller said, hey, I want to take that off we made the other day. I said, let's do it. I'm kidding. Not this, I got that one. Oh, you're thinking about the V. This is what I'm working on. That's a, that's a 73. It's freaking clean. Ridiculous. Yeah. Watch for the gear engine. A new developer. The sister location of our flash flood of gear booth. What we got here? We, we on? Hey man. So first thing we've got is the easy slider. There's never a good place to put your slide. Had a gig and so a little bandolero style clip. You can go right in and out. Either hand you want to drop it on the finger. Come over here I'll show you something really cool. Phase 90, everybody knows the Phase 90. It's kind of a static on-off pedal. This topper right here gives you expression pedal control without taking up space on your board for a full-size expression pedal. So you just set it right on, it's non-destructive, you can take it off, you don't have to drill it. And now you can do really cool. Really cool licks with that. And the final thing is we've got a more universal version that uses a motor. So get right in there. And when I touch this expression pedal, you're going to see the gain knob on my amp go right with my pedal. And I can set a custom min-max right here from the, from the unit. So if I want to dial in a sweet range, I can get right in there. And so this works on any potentiometer. get you exactly what you want to control with an expression pedal. Giving you that analog sound with di a digital interface to it. Awesome. Very cool. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for by. Gibson Les Paul Studio that somebody added a Bigsby to. This one's a 2007, thin finish, nice and light, weighs really, really well. Great, great player guitar. This is just asking to be played. Standard Mexico Stratocaster. Nothing crazy, but it's a good one. 2008, candy apple red. And look at the board. It's a good one. <laughs> look, Eric is moving up in the world. He got, he nailed the year on this. This is a 2011 Fender Blacktop Jaguar. Nice rows with boards and humbuckers. These are replaced. You've got to figure out what these are, but really cool guitar. It sounds great. And then a uh, cool, cool Marshall Lead 12. Solid state amp from, I think, the 80s. But uh, people love these, and we got another one. So we've, we've had a few of these before. Cool amps. That was rapid fire. A few more fresh finds. They don't, they don't stop. Really, really cool Fujigan. Nice dark rose with board, and they put Seymour Duncan pickups in it. Very excited to see how this one sounds. Uh, it sounds good. I already tried it. Oh, okay, cool. Awesome Japanese made guitar. Very, very happy to see this come away. Slightly thicker neck, but it's comfy. You know? I don't mind it. Two more nice Japanese made guitars. That. Everything cool strat. Vintage fender lock and trim. And it actually came to us with the trim arm, which has been a rarity this show. At the same time as this, we got another cool Japanese made guitar. Arbanez Prestige RG. And came with the original hard case. It's got some mods, looks like we've got a DiMaggio pickup and then the Ibanez V7 and S7 pickups. Press one. Very, very cool. 2011 Gibson SG Special with P90s. Really thin nitro finish. I love these guitars. 
I love all the stuff that Gibson did from this series. They always are so much fun. And then Eric can show you. We got this cool tri base. This is a company from Switzerland. I wasn't very familiar, but figured we'd check both of them out. This is a, uh, a very blue chip guitar, and this is a wild card. Man. Yeah. Did I need to buy enough guitars for you? Got our work cut out for us. Very cool find. Here we have a 2015 Gibson Les Paul Traditional. Super cool top. Look at it. This is the mahogany. This is uh, pretty rad. Very wide neck. Pretty thick, but for how wide it is, actually doesn't feel very thick. But it has uh, everyone's favorite robot tuner. So. Love that. This is actually all original, which most of these have been converted away from this. So, well, I would obviously take these off and just put traditional tuners on it. I think we're going to leave this all original since it's surprising how few examples of these there are that still have these. And uh, for historical reference, here, here you have it. And by the way, this is uh, more or less new old stock. They got these new. Uh, this came from a shop that was a dealer, bought them new, and they never sold these. So, they still got the candy and everything. Mm -hmm. Telly base. It's gone. You missed it. There's a fun one. More fresh finds. The show's wrapping up. The people are packing up. But we're still working. Vintage Ibanez Blazer with not vintage EMG pickups. Otherwise, actually pretty original. So, uh, cool guitar. This is, uh, this is fun. Two really nice RGs. This one has a uh, at-home refinish, it looks like. But it's actually pretty cool, and it's got some vibe to it. And then uh, really nice Ibanez Prestige, both these made in Japan, very nice RGs. Good vibes all around. Oh, good, I'm glad to hear. How about you guys? I would say that you could have finished just about every deal we could have, so I'd be really good about that. What do you got? Mm -hmm. Three five. So the red one I had on my table? Yeah, $15,000 guitar. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I did, you buy did those? a trade. Yeah? I did a trade in cash deal. Those are fake, dude. These are not. Really? You think so? Indeed, 100%. Go ask Terry Mule. Terry Mueller said they were good. Terry Mueller, I'll, 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 I'll find out what that is. Oh boy. It's Sunday evening, the show is wrapping up. We're probably about done for the day. This has been a fantastic weekend. This may be our most successful guitar show ever. Um, Asheville was pretty great, and uh, I didn't know that we would top that, especially this soon, but gotta run some numbers, but I think we actually topped the Asheville show. We definitely had the most acquisitions we've ever had, so really, really excited about that. Those are really quality acquisitions, too. We have some really, really cool stuff to show you guys. Obviously, bring it to the online shop, but maybe more interestingly, there's a lot of stuff that we're we'll doing like standalone videos on since we've got a lot of interesting pieces. Can't wait to bring you guys that stuff. Next few weeks are going to be really hectic. Flying back from this, rejoining the Nightmares and Daydreams tour with Against the Current, wrapping up the last bit of that, and then after that show, we have some other cool plans that we can't talk about yet, but you'll see them soon. There'll be a lot of good videos coming your way, so thanks for sticking with us. Please let us know down below in the comments what your favorite acquisition was from this show, or maybe even just your favorite guitar you saw at the show. There's a lot of good ones, so I know it's hard to choose, but we'd love to know your guys' thoughts. Um, as always, like, subscribe, comment, all this stuff. Everything every other YouTuber asks you to do, but it really does help, and uh, we always appreciate it. Thank you guys, as always, for your continued support. We are always blown away to meet so many of you guys in person. Uh, we hope to keep that up. Thanks, as always, and we'll see you in another video soon. We have, we have, you don't know the number for